there students! Good day! I am Jovin Isindao and I'm going to be your teacher for today. And I am so excited to be part of your learning journey. I hope that you are also excited to do the different activities. So, without much ado, let's start! Before we move further, let me introduce to you first to your self-learning module. Your module has different parts and each part shall guide you in an organized manner to help you keep track of your learning capacity. The activities, exercises, discussions, and questions are explicitly stated for you to be able to track your progress and reflect if you understood the lesson and successfully met the required learning objectives which are anchored on the target competence. So please take good care of your self-learning modules. You avoid unnecessary marks on your SLM. And please read the instructions carefully before performing the tasks. If you have any questions or a point of clarification, do not hesitate to ask me. Okay? Alright, so you use another sheet of paper for your answers. Good luck and see ya! For today, your lesson is all about asserting one's identity in a diverse society. Learning objectives. Make a stand on the material viewed. Define assertions. React to assertions made by the author in the text. Observe and use appropriate oral language, stance, and behavior when giving information, making explanations, and narrating experiences. We are in a democratic country and have the chance to speak what's in our minds. But, sadly, young people like you are sometimes judged as incapable and unlearned. This impression blocks you to be yourself. Gladly, this module will teach you to be aware and be able to explore understanding about equality and taking your stand on your belief while observing proper behavior, using appropriate language, while explaining and giving information. When we want to communicate something, it is important that we convey our message clearly and precisely. Time, let's have activity number one. It's okay to be choosy. You are about to learn a new lesson, so let us find out what you already know about it. Choose the correct answer. Okay, number one, it is a second didactic story in prose or verse which illustrates one or more instructive lessons or principles, parable or assertion. Okay, you are correct. These are declarative sentences that claim something is true about something else. Good job! It is the main topic or message that is being discussed or described in a piece of writing, the particular subject, idea, in the text. Amazing. Great job! Let's move on to activity number two. Matchy match! Match the words in column A that correspond to the definitions stated in column B. Use the given sentences as your hints to find the meaning of the words. Let's start! Let's have the following words. 1. Denigrate 2. Haughty 3. Outlandish 4. Patriotism 5. Contentious Okay, so let's have the following answers. Number 1. Denigrate means letter C to say unfair comments. Number two, haughty means letter E, blatantly and disdainfully proud. Number three, outlandish, letter D, very strange or unusual. Four, patriotism, letter B, love for one's country. And letter number five, contentious, letter A, likely to cause disagreement. Okay, how's your score, my dear? Good job! 
Let's move on to activity number three. Oh my hero! After reading about our national hero, Dr. Rosa Rizal, in your previous lesson, write an acrostic poem describing him using each letter of the word hero. Let's move on to activity number four. Let's have think, pair, and share. Call your parent or sibling to play this game with you. Tell your partner the that both of you will react by telling something about the meanings of the colors in your lives. Did you like the activity? Okay, so let's proceed to activity number five, react for a fact. This time, you are going to state your answer. So let's have number one. Based on the activity that you have done, which color do you like best? Why? Number two, to what color do you compare Dr. Jose Rizal? Why? Number three, do you like rainbow? What does the rainbow represent in your life? And number four, what does the line, there's a rainbow always after the rain mean? Okay, so take your time. This time, let's have activity number six. Read all about it. Here are headlines for actual newspaper. Read each carefully and react on it through verbal or facial expression. Number one, panda mating fails, veterinarian takes over. Number two, child's tool great for use in garden. Three, milk drinkers are turning to powder. Four, Iraqi head, six arms. Source the Adventist toolbox. Okay, so. This time, let's have activity number seven. You are going to read the parable of the rainbow colors written by Juan Flavier. You will have the chance to understand that each one of us, no matter what shade of color we wear, we are unique, equal, and can make a difference in this world by performing our individual roles. We are entitled to be respected and the right to be heard and treated justly. It all started as innocent statements by each of the colors. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate the others. There was even an element of restraint and humility. But as time went on, the colors' declarations became stronger and haughty with an overtone which tended to outdown the other colors. Their claim became very explicit as to who was the best color. It reached the point when the colors were actually quarreling, said the color red. I am the brightest, for red is the most striking. Why? Life-sustaining blood is colored red. I represent courage and bravery. Even the symbols like the heart and the roses presented are color red. The color yellow retorted, What can be brighter than my yellow exemplified by the sun? I am the color of gaiety and warmth. Without me, only the eye-glaring ones remain. What an outlandish claims! Interpose the color orange. Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am more important because I represent health than strength. Look at the ripe fruits and vegetables. They are predominantly orange. Well, if you are talking about vegetables and leaves, you are referring to my color declared the color green. I am the symbol of life. All that thrives in the fields, in the forests, is the greenery I provide. I am the most important color. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it shouted. What can be more expensive than the skies and the seas? Do you forget that the farthest skies and the deepest seas are blue? I represent patriotism. I stand for the depths of feelings and extensive spaces. 
The color indigo came out with a statement. You talk about wide areas. I hope you realize the largest area in the world is silence in I represent that dimension with my color. It means thoughtfulness. It is prayer expressed in the deepest of feelings. Aha! You forgot! The power of royalty in power is violet, shouted the color. I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? Suddenly, the rain interrupted the contentious exchange of arguments. Yes, you all have your unique features, but all of you have a special role. And more importantly, you need each other to give the mixed colors of beauty. Because of your quarreling, God has asked me to inform you of a decision. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, a strip of colors will appear in the sky. You will all appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will then represent cooperation and hope. The rainbow in the sky, with that, the rain disappeared. Did you like the story? Okay, so let me see if you understood the story by answering the following questions. Number one, what is the change that happened in each of the colors? How? Number two, how is this change relevant to the existence of each of the colors? Number three, why do you think rain emphasized the need for cooperation? Number four, how will you encourage others to cooperate in societal activities. Great job, my dear students! Now, let's move on to activity number 9. I am a rainbow. You are going to recall and evaluate the qualities of the colors, then draw a rainbow on your paper. On the left side of the rainbow, write one word description for each item. On the right side of the rainbow, explain how those characteristics are related to you. Keep in mind that the colors of the rainbow are arranged this way. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Take a look at this example. Okay, so when you are done, you do activity number 10, preserving the magic. The theme is the main topic or message that is being discussed or described in a piece of writing or it is the particular subject or idea in the text. To preserve the magical essence of a rainbow, number one, reread the parable. Share it with your loved ones and discuss the parable's theme. Number two, on a bond paper, draw a symbol that best presents the message of the text. And number three, discuss how the rainbow colors became stronger and tougher. Okay, so we are almost done, my dear students. Now let's move on to activity number 12, All Eyes on Digital Rise. When we say assertions according to Youngson 2016, they are declarative sentences that claim something is true about something else. These sentences may either be statements of truths or opinions. Read a short article below about a turnover ceremony which was held last February 10, 2021 at Orbis Tondon Graded School Multipurpose Complex. Then answer the questions that follow. All Roads Lead to Digital Learning by Jovelin Sinlao. Two dynamic millennial leaders forge synergy towards a common goal, digitization of learning to keep the learners of the municipality of Orbis Tondo abreast with the new normal. Through the benevolent and steadfast response of the local government unit, spearheaded by its very dynamic leader, Honorable Mayor Martin Raul S. Season II, a total of 13 printers and 100 tablets were given among the public schools of Orbistondo District on February 10, 2021 at Orbistondo Integrated School Multipurpose Complex. Officer in charge, Schools Division Superintendent Sheila Marie A. Primesia Seso 6 graced the occasion and cheerfully thanked the mayor for his, un for his unwavering response to her advocacy on digital learning. 
Dr. Long Genudi Ferrer, Public Schools District Supervisor of Urubistondo, expressed his sincerest gratitude and support to both Mayor Sisan and Dr. Promise Educational Transformation in line with the Dep Ed's mantra, the Sulong Edo Kalidad. Okay, so let's move on to the next activity. You are going to answer the following questions based on the article that you have read. Number one. What is the article all about? 2. What do you think is the purpose of this article? What is the goal of the two great leaders? Okay, so you do letter B. Keeping strong ties with the stakeholders is very essential to fulfill the goals of the education sector. Imagine yourself being Dr. Shilamari A. Permisias, OIC Schools Division Superintendent of SD01 Pangasinan and Mayor Martin Raul as Season II of the Municipality of Urbistondo. You are going to make assertions about your goals in the education system and call for unity among the different private and public sectors to improve the learning delivery among public schools. Write your assertions on your paper. Okay, so that's amazing guys. Now let's move on to activity number 13, self-steam barometer. You are going to create your own self-steam barometer or thermometer. List down 10 powerful characteristics that you must boost your self-steam. You may share your self-steam meter with your friends or loved ones. Or activity number 14, Make a single assertion about respecting one's individuality or uniqueness, then post in your Facebook status, attaching a poster or picture code. The rubrics are written below. Congratulations for a job well done, my dear students! I hope you learned something in this lesson. Thank you so much and God bless! Keep safe! This has been your teacher. Teacher Jovi Gensilao.